do you wonder why methane is tetrahedral but ethene is planar why ethene has double bond but acetylene has triple bond hybridization is a concept in chemistry which gives answer to all such questions hello friends i am aparna kulkarni in this video we will discuss hybridization of carbon before we talk about what is hybridization we should know why concept of hybridization is important hybridization explains certain things about organic compound the first thing that it explains is tetravalency of carbon means why valency of carbon is poor electronic configuration of carbon is 1s2 2s2 2p2 uh means uh, there are two unpaired electrons in 2p orbital according to valence bond theory carbon should be divalent but in practice carbon is tetravalent so this tetravalency of carbon can be explained uh on the basis of hybridization uh hybridization also explains structure or bonding in organic compounds you know compounds like methane ethene acetylene so their structure can be explained uh these molecules have different geometries uh, methane is tetrahedral ethene is planar acetylene is linear this can be explained also these molecule uh, show different bond angles so these uh, bond angles can also be explained thus remember friends uh, hybridization is a very fundamental concept in organic chemistry without knowing hybridization we cannot proceed to advanced concepts in chemistry so now we'll talk about what is hybridization in simple word hybridization is mixing of atomic orbitals to form uh, hybrid orbitals you know uh, concept of hybridization in animals or plants likewise in chemistry atomic orbitals combine to form new hybrid orbitals with different properties you should remember certain things about hybridization uh, atomic orbitals of different shapes may combine to form new hybrid orbitals but they should be of nearly equal energies the new hybrid orbitals form will be of same shape and equal energy the number of new hybrid orbitals form is exactly equal to number of atomic orbitals combined uh, so let's look at this example uh, s and p are atomic orbitals s is spherical in shape p is dumbbell shape if they are of equal nearly equal energies means if they are in same shape they may combine to form hybrid orbitals if two atomic orbitals are combining two new hybrid orbitals will be formed one more thing this process of hybridization takes place at the time of bond formation so now with this knowledge about hybridization let us concentrate on hybridization of carbon atomic number of carbon is 6 means there are 6 elect uh, electrons revolving around the nucleus of carbon if we want to show electronic configuration energy wise uh, we have to show like this but uh, we for convenience we will show it in one light but you have to remember that 1s orbital is lower in energy and than 2s and 2p orbitals in carbon 2s and 2p orbitals are of nearly equal energies so they can mix to form hybrid orbitals and this mixing takes place in three ways sp3 sp2 and sp thus basically there are three types of hybridization of carbon and we will discuss each hybridization in detail uh, let us check sp3 hybridization of carbon uh, so ground state electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p2 which is shown during bond formation one of the s electron 2s electron get excited to vacant p orbital uh, 
So the excited state electronic configuration can be uh, written like this 1s2, 2s1, and uh, 2p3. Okay. In sp3 hybridization, this uh, 2s uh, and 2p orbitals combine uh, to form four new sp3 hybrid orbitals. So mixing uh, takes place like this. Now, uh, electronic uh, configuration after hybridization uh, can be shown like this. Uh, by combining 1, 2s and 2, 2p orbital, four new sp3 hybrid orbitals are formed. Uh, in terms of orbital picture, we can show it like this. 1, 2s and 3, 2p orbitals are combining to form four new sp3 hybrid orbitals. Now, these uh, four sp3 hybrid orbitals uh, will orient themselves in space such that there will be minimum repulsion between them. And uh, the bond angle between these orbitals is uh, 109.5 degree. Uh, example is methane means carbon atom in methane is sp3 uh, hybridized. Uh, remember friend, uh, in each of these sp3 hybrid orbital, there is one unpaired electron, so they can form bond with four hydrogen. We'll discuss uh, uh, structure uh, and bonding in methane, ethene and acetylene in next video. For now, just concentrate on hybridization. Uh, now, uh, let us talk about sp2 hybridization of carbon. Uh, so. Uh, Ground state electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. Uh, during bond formation, one of the 2s electron will be excited to vacant p orbital. So the excited state electronic configuration can be shown like this. Okay, so in sp2 hybridization, 1, 2s and 2, 2p orbitals uh, mix together, combine. Uh, to form three new sp2 hybrid orbital. So this mixing can be shown like this. Okay. So uh, the electronic configuration uh, after hybridization can be shown like this. And in terms of uh, orbital picture, you can see that 1, 2s and 2, 2p orbitals are combining to form three new sp2 hybrid orbitals and one p orbitals remain unhybridized. So this is sp2 hybridization. There are one unpaired electron each in all these uh, orbitals. Now, these three sp2 hybrid orbitals will orient themselves in space like this. So the bond angle between them is 120 degree. There is one unhybridized p orbital uh, which remains perpendicular to the plane of sp2 orbitals. And there, are, there, are, uh, there is one unpaired electron in each of these orbitals. Uh, example is ethene, means carbon atoms in ethene are sp2 hybridized and uh, the geometry is planar. Now let's check sp hybridization of carbon. Now you know how to write ground state electronic configuration and uh, excited state electronic configuration. In sp hybridization, 1s and 1p orbital combine, mix together to form two new sp hybrid orbitals. Uh, so mixing basically takes place like this and the uh, uh, Electronic configuration after hybridization can be shown like this. Uh, in terms of orbital picture, 1, 2s and 1, 2p orbitals are combining to form two sp hybrid orbitals and 2p orbitals remains unhybridized. Okay, so these two sp hybrid orbitals will orient themselves in space like this. The bond angle is 180 degree. The two unhybridized p orbitals remain perpendicular to each other as well as plane of sp orbital. Example is acetylene, means carbon atom in acetylene is 
uh, acetylene are sp hybridized and they have linear geometry uh, so uh, this is summary of what we have learned summary of hybridization in next video we will discuss uh, bonding in methane ethene and acetylene thank you for watching